Finbo is an inspiring story of an innocent fish, but in real it was a baby whale. The size of the fish prevents him playing with his friends and he felt being defeated always. While he was criticizing his size, he saved plenty of fishes from the evil shark. Don't self-criticize about what or how you are and the way you look. Finbo was a baby fish, but the size of the fish was bigger than a grown-up fish. Finbo always found fault and discomfort in his big appearance. Finbo looked like a giant fish for the other fishes who lived in that ocean. Finbo loved to play with them and they mostly play hide and seek. Finbo was too big and couldn't find a right place to hide himself. He would be caught in a few seconds if he play hide and seek. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to catch the other fishes as they were very small. Most of the fishes used to hide behind the Finbo's tail and he couldn't see them. When Finbo becomes the catcher, he would not be able to find even a single fish. After hours of playing, Finbo would return home full of depression. When he explained his grief to his mom, she consoled him that he wasn't a fish, but the biggest mammal on the earth, the whale. She also added that he would grow up a large whale almost ten times bigger than his size as a baby whale. She added that they were mammals and everyone in the ocean respects them owing to their size. Whales are brave and don't have over anything. Finbo unfortunately, didn't hear anything his mom said. One day he went to play with his fish friends and they asked him to explore a secret and dangerous place. Finbo told them his mom had advised not to go there as it would be dangerous to their life. All fishes called him a coward. While Finbo was left, other fishes explored the way to the dangerous place in the ocean. Soon, Finbo heard scary noises of fishes as if someone was chasing them. They rushed forward and hid behind Finbo's tail. The next moment, a big shark raced toward them, with his mouth wide open. The moment he saw Finbo in front of him, his eyes bulged out and his mouth dropped. Finbo grunted once. The big, bad shark took one sharp look at Finbo from the corner of his eyes, and vanished at once, in fear. Finbo's friends, who were peeping from behind his tail, couldn't believe their eyes. They were amazed to see how the big bad shark ran away as he saw their friend, Finbo they were very proud of him. All of them came to him and thanked him over and over. They apologized to Finbo for teasing him. Finbo welcomed all the thanks humbly. Finbo was very happy that he was big and different, because he could be of great use to his friends. Some children and even the elders are like Finbo, who doesn't actually like the way they are. They continuously blame themselves or the surrounding factors without realizing their real power. Don't underestimate anybody as even a tiny object has got some purpose to fulfill.